Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm actually going to be trying something that I've never even attempted before. This is something that I've seen a lot of bigger channels on YouTube do, where they'll have subscribers enter in some of their drawings and they'll pick a subscriber's drawing and then they'll paint over it and give them critiques. And I have actually watched the video where Istabrak did basically what I'm doing today, which is where she will get an older drawing and then she will paint over it and give herself critiques so basically do a paint over for herself which is exactly what I'm doing today however the first portion of the video is actually the older drawing because I was looking through old video files and I found the video file of how I created this um, painting and I never was able to post this digital painting on my YouTube channel because right after I finished this painting and finished recording it my computer died and my computer was dead for like an a year and a half like I thought I'd lost the files I thought I'd lost this drawing and out of all the drawings I did from 2015 this was probably the only one that I still like so I thought it would be really interesting to do a paint over of this drawing whilst also including the original speed paint of the first drawing from 2015 in the first portion of the video. So the first five minutes will be filled with the old drawing. And <laughs> as I'm watching this, I'm cringing a little bit at how I painted this, but um, you know, as time goes on, you improve, of course. And it was so much fun to paint over it because um, I still do really like this um, painting today and I like the idea behind it. It was originally meant to be a sketchmas drawing, so it had like a Christmassy theme, she was like a Christmas angel surrounded in tinsel, um, but even though it's not Christmas, I thought it would make a fun video and I just really wanted to do a paint over. And this kind of reminds me of the whole um, Draw This Again series that I do, except you're basically building up on the basis you already have, so on the old drawing, rather than starting the whole thing again. So in doing so, I did realise there were some problems with doing it in this method, in that the, of course the original anatomy wasn't that great, so I was kind of limited to the way the anatomy looked in the old one. I know I could have painted it over a little bit better in that regard. However, I'm really happy with how I ended up painting over the face in my, um, my 2017 version. So yeah, but basically, <laughs> um, I really like the composition and everything. I think it's funny how I managed to hide the hands behind the tinsel in the original version uh, because I just did not want to tackle doing the hands and I managed to um, dodge out of doing the hands in my version that I've done this time as well, which I really shouldn't have done. I, I was hoping that I would try and tackle them, but because I'd spent so long on the face, I was just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. So I kind of gave up on it. But I do have loads of old video files and um, loads of, and I just don't want to like upload them as standalone videos. So it would be cool if, if you guys like this series, of course, um, if I do some more of these and do more basically paint over. And also if you guys have any um, paintings, digital paintings that you want me to do paint overs of, I could start a series where I paint over your guys' drawings, um, but let me know what you think about that. I don't know if I'm in a position where I can give critiques really, I only really feel comfortable doing this um, with my own drawing because I can look back at what I did wrong there, if that makes any sense. I don't think I'm making sense, but basically um, this was a lot of fun and maybe in a year's time I could do another paint over of the same painting. Uh, a lot of things were changed this time around, but um, speaking of Sketchmas, which is what this was originally meant to be, um, I will hopefully be doing lots of Sketchmas paintings this year, closer to Christmas. I know that's like really far away, but just letting you guys know. And I am really impressed that I managed to attempt a background on the old 2015 one. That really just surprised me when I was looking back on this video, um, just seeing the fact that I actually put like a a pebbled ground there and you can see that I kind of gave up on the edges of the dress in the original one and I thought it kind of resembled snow a little bit so that's why in the paint over that I end up doing um, I turned the dress into snow at the bottom so she literally turns into snow at the bottom of the ground basically um, so for my paint over which it will switch to in a minute I actually used Krita 
whereas the original painting was done in Paint Tool Sci. I wanted to reattempt this in Paint Tool Sci, but because I've been using Krita so much lately, I thought it would be the best idea if I just used Krita for the paint over. So I'm going to start with some of the issues I saw in the older painting that I attempted to combat in my paint over. So basically, what I used to do all the time, and I will have some on-screen examples from previous videos and just previous drawings, is that I used to do my nose and my mouth really far down the face, I don't know why, and then it ended up making the chin look so small. Um, I don't think necessarily there's anything wrong with the chin being quite small if you're going for a stylized look, and this is clearly a stylized drawing through the size of the eyes because no one has eyes that big naturally, however there's only so much um, an art style can excuse and um, really I was just use I used to use that excuse for bad proportions basically and um, the nose was just in a very weird position in the mouth as well. I also thought the lips were just too full. Um, I just had to change the size of the lips a bit and as soon as I did that I feel like the drawing looked much much better and the, also with the eyes they were missing a lot of details so I had to add um, a lot more details in. Basically what I did was general edits to the shading, trying to add more depth. I thought around the shoulders it had really good depth um, anyway, so I didn't really have to do much there. The one thing I wish I had edited a little bit more was the body, because um, in the original one, the way her shoulders are positioned, it just looks like she has a really skinny neck, and I actually didn't really do anything to combat this in my paint over, so that probably would have been a good idea to do. Also, um, I don't know why, but her head just looked way too big for her body, and even when I made the head smaller, it didn't really seem to combat this issue at all. Um, it might be something to do with the eyes being so big, but it was hard to find a balance to where I could make the head size look um, right for her body, if that makes sense. So um, I was kind of limited by the pose in this paint over and everything else. I wish I had done the hands properly, like I said, but um, even now hands are a bit of a struggle for me and there is no excuse for that. I should be doing hand studies, but um, effort. <laughs> um, but anyway, I had so much fun doing this paint over. I did struggle a lot with the nose actually, which was quite surprising for me because noses aren't really something I struggle with anymore, but um, it was more of the lighting aspect I struggled with. So what I did was I pulled up a reference of a nose, the kind of nose that I wanted to go for, and as soon as I did that, it made life so much easier. And I think of myself as quite a stubborn person. A lot of the times I'm quite stubborn about pulling up references. I'm like, no, I can do it on my own. I don't need to look at a reference for it. It'll be fine. But um, it actually helps so much sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with using references at all. Um, so I'm glad I did that. And then the nose ended up looking a lot better. And the lips, I wish I'd done a little bit more detail in the lips, but they're definitely a big improvement from the previous ones, which I think just looked, um, I don't know, they looked just ridiculous really. Um, they just didn't look right on her face and the nose and the mouth positioning was a bit off. Even though the chin in the paint over version is still quite small, I don't think it looks too bad anymore. Um, but looking at it now, even though it is a vast improvement to the previous one, the paint over that I've done, um, I still see things that I could carry on with and make it even better. Um, if I had less of a limited time, I think I'd have a lot more time to rework this painting and therefore make it better. Uh, and as you can see right now, I'm just resizing the head because, like I said, <laughs> the head was just looking too small and just weird. Um, I also didn't like how in the background it looked so gradiented, if that makes sense. I wanted it to look more organic and have like paintbrush strokes in it a little bit. I wanted to give it kind of like a messy feel in some areas, so I did end up using um, a big brush with Krita and adding a little bit of texture in the background, and I think that really did help a lot. Um, I also added lots of hair strands and kind of gave the um, whole painting a more um, organic look if that makes sense. It looked like her hair was kind of blowing in the wind a bit more. I know that the character has itself looks, well she looks very stiff. Um, I think that's just in the pose, she's not really moving so she is going to look quite stiff, but 
through adding like the hair blowing in the wind i think that kind of helped combat that a bit and i really like how she looks in the new one anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more paint over videos in the future let me know bye guys <laughs>